right that's a good question and uh, so let me repeat the question here what sir has said is a company using sap as a erp where the yeah sap or any erp for that matter which does not allow any back dated entries and especially when the year is closed there is no entry per se now this reminds us of the concept in bank called value dating if you like so the check was created on the paper today but the interest you will get from say 4 days back 5 days back does that happen in sap or not or any erp or not i think the current answer for this is quite elaborate which i'll give but a shortcut answer is that something like value dating during the year is available in sap but it keeps the trail on who did the entry from what screen perhaps the rights are given to the senior level administrator it administrator and they do the entry because from the past effect and even there many of the modules are closed actually so it it comes as a special jv uh, journal entry most of the times so let us just record this also because this will also be useful for our further part erp does it provide backdated impacts so when we say that reopen the past accounts does erp like sap for example sap so my understanding here is it results into similar principle like value dating in bank transactions but not for routine transactions when i say routine transaction i mean stores issues and receipts it will not allow that third will be frequently required especially in case of dividends because dividend in past was required to be booked as on 31st march or any expense provision were getting missed out or provisions at the year end now all these things required value dating on 31st march and therefore what you call is sap company was kept open sap company for the year is kept open and generally the errors we will give the value date effect only on the year end there should not be an issue but the question comes up as to how much retrospective effect we are giving so let's talk about retrospective how much impact in financial statements using the short form called fs financial st statement as per indices right so will erp provide for it and how many years etc now the answer for that will have to be given differently by doing two three things 
that is taking the references from the cases which have happened under IFRS so far because we hardly have any or rather we don't have any references of India's conversion of prior period experiences. So, I will catch up those references from the IFRS experiences of mine somewhere in 2007 and when in some of the cases we did have retrospective periods and we had the SAP company used on our and the error was 8 years old. So there, I mean, whatever tempted I may get to tell you in a different way, the real fact was we did their manual. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. We did them in Excel plus. I, mean, I should not say manual. We used the special software called Excel. <laughs> Excel is still a book of accounts. We are saying we are not giving effect in SAP. Uh, but that is how many years? That is the question. Because generally, what SAP people do is they keep just the previous year open, not the previous to previous years. Okay. I mean, there is an ability for an administrator to reopen that, that's a separate issue. But by and large, except for the exact previous year, everything is closed. And exact previous year is, in fact, the background behind keeping exact previous year only keeping open was for, what do you call it? Regrouping and reclassification, etc. Only for that it was being kept open. But now the question comes, and this question we'll have to deal in depth is that in IFRS or INDES, we are talking about three balance sheets and two profit and loss accounts. That is previous year opening balance sheet also. Now that's where the question comes. Whether the third balance sheet was kept open or not. Because wherever we have in the S and the changes arise on account of three situations, and one of them I'll keep that aside for the time being, that is first time adoption. But the other two situations, that is change in accounting policy and errors, omissions, and frauds, and we are yet to touch frauds. So, in those cases, what should be done? How many accounts should be kept open? Whether the third year's balance sheet also at least should be kept open? This becomes a question mark. And answer to that in one of the or two of the most popular ERPs given into the new white papers published on IFRS implementation of that ERP states that now we are keeping three years open in order to correct the errors. So that reference of that white papers is available to the user of this program which we are conducting in the material which they will get for this. Alright. So ERP white papers Keep practice of three balance sheets and two PLs open for this purpose. Right? So, they are, you want to say something? So, they are, they arose from the point of view of how did this arise? A, regrouping and reclassification, which was originally also there.
and B need to publish. I'm I'm using the word publish. Okay. What do I mean by that? Not just prepare, but prepare and publish two P and L and three balance sheets. That's right. In case of errors, frauds, omissions, and change in accounting funds. Errors, frauds, omissions, and accounting. Accounting policy change. Right. 